Welcome to Abhishek Subhu Talks. Uh, in this uh, video, we are going to basically look at how to install and operate Salesforce Data Loader in Linux. All right. So, um, if you look at the uh, the Salesforce Data Loader, let me just pull this guy in. Yeah, so if you look at the official documentations of the Salesforce data loader, you would necessarily see installation instructions for the Mac OS, Windows, but not for Linux, right? And it becomes a difficult task for newbies who are using Linux to to make this data loader work in that operating system, right? And mo one of the traditional ways of installing um, Windows applications in Linux is through Wine, right? So you have to install Wine, then you have to configure uh, the Wine, uh, you have to run um, CMD through Wine. So you literally have to do what you are actually doing in a Windows machine uh, with the use of Wine, and you have to somehow get the data loader to work. Now, most of the times I have also faced, like, you know, when you try to follow this approach some step or the other you would mess it up and then this whole thing becomes a complete mess in your linux and then the and the, at the end of the day the data loader doesn't work right that's the pain in the ass right now then you'll be like very sad about like okay you are in a linux now you are not able to make this work right then you s think about switching your OS to windows or probably using your spare windows machine or something of that sort to run this data loader right but today in this video I'm going to tell you the right way to install Salesforce data loader in Linux right we're not going to do any kind of wine stuff and all that stuff right now uh, let's look at one key aspect uh, which is the data loader github page so most of you guys know that the data loader is actually um, an open source code, right? It's available in the GitHub, right? All the source code and everything is available. So, and, and interestingly, if you look at this, right? Uh, you will see a POM XML. It's more like a Java application, right? It, it looks like a Java, you know, Java application. Now, we all have learned in our, uh, you know, university days that you know, when you learn Java, Java is platform independent, right? So if it is platform independent, you should be able to run Java applications in any of the operating system, right? Let it be Linux, Windows or Mac or whatever it is, right? Only thing that you need is a jar file, right? So if you build a Java application, you would get a jar file out of it. And if you're able to run the jar file in your uh, OS, whichever OS that has Java in it, JRE in it, right? Java runtime in it. You should be able to run that application. So we are going to attempt that same approach out here. Interestingly, you will also see that the readme.md of this particular uh, data loader, um, so, uh, you know, uh, project in GitHub has instructions of how to build this data loader project, right? So we are pretty much going to follow the same thing, right? All right. So let me open a uh, terminal right? and I am going to do a git clone. Okay, so let me grab the um, URL right? and then I'll do a git clone and paste this guy, enter. Right? So what it will basically do is it will pull the entire data loader um, GitHub project source code to your local machine, right? So if I CD into data loader, yeah, there has to be a data loader. So this data loader folder gets created when you do a git clone, right? Now you have all your source code and everything in this particular local folder called as well, like local folder data loader. Now what we need to do is we need to build this guy. Now you can also see that we are doing C CD into the data loader. Now you also need to do this git sub module in it. Let's also do that. 
sub mo module init then git sub module update right okay now you could either do mvn uh, clean package if you have the mavens installed in your linux machine but let's assume the fact that you do not have mavens right um, okay so what you can do is you can build this thing right so what you would do is uh, dot slash dl builder dot sh minus n right so let's do this and it will start to build this particular data loader project okay so it will build all these things it will pull all the um, dependencies you know typically what a java application build would do it would take some time uh, so just bear with me um, right all right so it says the build is success at this point right now for us to run this particular uh, yeah so we need to check one more thing right did the jar file actually get created right so we need to go into this target folder that's where the uh, build files and everything gets generated so let's do a t cd target uh, ls yes you have the jar files right data loader jar and the uber jar is there okay now in order for us to run the jar we need to have java installed in our machine right so i already have java installed in my machine which is the open jdk version i'll also show you how to go about installing this you can actually refer my blog abhishekshubhu.github.io and here you can just uh, get into this sfdx environment preparation in ubuntu so any debian based machine uh, you know linux you can just just follow these three steps which is sudo app uh, apt installed open jdk 11 jdk so the 11 was the version at the time when i actually wrote this blog by this um, uh, as of today it would be like 17 or maybe uh, some some other uh, latest version so just change that number from 11 to whatever is the latest right so that's the only thing that changes in all these three commands right all these three sets of commands so once you install all these things you should be able to see like when you run the java minus version you will be able to see uh, the open JDK version right so as long as this is available the JRE is there in your machine now we are going to run this data loader right so how do you run a typical Java application it would be Java minus jar and the path of the jar right so the path of the jar is nothing but data loader and I'm going to run the Uber right okay so do you see the data loader actually starting to run right so this is the way you can actually get the data loader to work now uh, all the stuff works exactly like the data loader that you get in the windows so the settings screen works the export you know you can actually do auth or password authentication you know whatever it is you can do and it's it's pretty much the same data loader that you have you know uh, worked in your windows machine or your mac machine so the only thing is that you should not close this terminal because this terminal is actually executing the java application right so the moment you close this this application would stop running right so you just have to keep this thing on right do all the insert update or whatever export operations that you want to do through a data loader and once you are done you can just close this which will actually end this see it ended that particular java application run or you could just close the terminal right so this is the way this is the neat way to get salesforce data loader running in your linux machine i hope this was helpful thank you